In this video, I'll be asking what's the best free piano plugin, and in fact, I'll be giving you my top five. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Now, way back in 2019, you remember then when life was so much more simple, when you didn't have to worry about things like washing your hands. Well, anyway, back then in 2019, I made a video about my top five free VST piano plugins. And thank you so much to all of you who watched it. It's one of my most popular videos. Well, things have changed quite a lot since then, haven't they? A couple of them have fallen by the wayside and there's a couple of new ones. In fact, a new one came out yesterday, which I just slipped into my top five and it's taken the number one spot. So I hope you're gonna stick around and watch my top five free piano VST plugins. But before we do get started, if this is your first time here and you like this kind of content, all about home recording, DAWs, gear reviews, plugin reviews, that kind of thing, then please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you are notified about my future videos. So let's run through my top five, starting with my least favorite, going through to my most favorite. We'll get started with number six. So you may well be asking why in a top five free piano plugins video do I have a number six? Well, the reason is I'm not entirely certain this is free. Oh, I know, I can hear you groaning. Now I don't wanna waste your time, so let me very quickly explain. If you follow the link in the description for this Addictive Keys demo, it will tell you that this demo has no time limit. Okay, that's cool. Now it also tells you that you get a demo version of the Studio Grand Library, which is limited to four octaves. Now I can make use of a four octave piano if it sounds awesome. Now my actual experience was that it didn't come with that library, but with this modern upright piano library instead, and I'm really not sure how limited this is. So that's why I haven't included it in the top five. Now with all that said, it does come with some MIDI samples, which I'm gonna use to demonstrate the other free plugins in this video. There are three quick samples in different styles, so let's have a quick listen to them now. So in at number five, we have the Vasilian Upright Piano. Now this is down from number four where I had it last year, but it still very much deserves to be in a top five. Some nice simple controls on the interface, as you can see, it's got some built-in reverb, a pan control here, and a volume control. Now just a note on this volume control, when you first load this plugin up, the volume will be pointing over to around about three o'clock over here. Now what I found is that I got some clipping sound, a digital clipping sound when it was up that loud. I thought it was something in my DAW, I had the gain set too high, something like that. It wasn't. I think there's some actual clipping or distortion within the plugin, not very nice, but it's easy. You just knock it down to one or two o'clock where I have it here and then just control the volume from within your DAW. Now over on the right hand side, we have some envelope settings. Note that they are attack, sustain, decay and release. Now, this is a little bit unusual because really with an envelope, it should be attack, decay, sustain, release, but you know, I'm being a bit picky there, I know. Now the attack control is probably something that I would make use of um, on the sort of default sound of this. I find it's just a little bit harsh. Now it may be that that's what you want for the particular song, but yeah, just listening to it by itself, it always feels a little bit harsh to me. And I just adjust that attack a little bit, just to make it sound a little bit rounder on the front end. So with all that said, let's have a listen with our three little demo pieces to how this piano sounds.
four. So in at number four, I have the Key Zone Classic, or is it the Keys One Classic? I'm never quite sure. Now this was at number three last year, but a number of people felt it should be at number one. They liked it so much. But after a few months, I did start getting some heat down in the comments because when people followed the link, they found that on the Bitsonic site it said you could get this for free if you purchased another product, and that's not really free. Now. Not my fault that they changed that in the meantime, but that's the life of the YouTuber. You get blamed for this. Now, this time I've put a link down in the description. I think it's an old link, actually, and you can get this completely for free without buying another product at the moment. So I recommend you do that very, very quickly before they notice. And if you're watching this in a few months' time and that's all changed, you do have my apologies. Now, let's go over the features really, really quickly. This actually comes with five pianos all in all. There's the Keys 1 piano. Um, then there's this Yamaha a grand piano, a Steinway piano, basic electric piano, and the Rhodes piano. Now, my favorite is the Yamaha grand piano. So that's what I'm going to leave it. And that's the demo that I'm going to give you. Now, you can see that we also on this one have an attack, decay, sustain release in the correct order there, which is always handy to have, a built-in reverb, a detune control, and then some controls over the velocity curve, which is always handy, volume control, and then some modulation effects over here where you can uh, modulate pitch, expression, pan, all that kind of stuff. I don't use that. I think it all kind of sounds a little bit silly. I just want the natural sound of the piano. And that's what you're going to listen to now. So in at number three, we have somewhat of a surprise. Well, it's a surprise to me at least because I didn't know about it until yesterday. And what you're gonna hear in a moment is something called a sound font, which is called uh, the Full Grand Piano. Now, sound fonts are a kind of a sample library which have been around for years. And in order to play sound fonts, you're gonna need a sound font player. And that's what you can see on the screen right now. This is called S for Zando, and this is a free player. So I'll have a link in the description to this free player, as well as the sound Sound font. Now I should say sound fonts because this actually came in a pack of 25 free piano sound fonts, um, which I came across sort of randomly yesterday. So I went through all of them and I found my favorite of them all and it's called the Full Grand Piano. Now this sound font in itself, the Full Grand Piano, also has a bunch of variations. You can see here uh, the default one is called Grand, but then we have say the classical one, expressive, uh, pop, etc. Actually, quite a number of them, but I really liked the default one, which is just called um, Grand. Uh, I thought that was the best one of all. It's got a really nice, deep, rich tone at the low end. So let's have a listen to it now. Now in at number two, as it was last year, is the Piano in 162 from Ivy Audio. Now this is another sound font library, as you can see, so no change on the UI here. I think a lot of care was taken in this library and that's why I enjoy it. It's not quite as deep and rich on the low end as the previous example we heard, but I think overall it's a little bit more refined or a lot more refined. Now this is also available as a contact library, but you do need the full version of contact to run it. So that's why I've included it here as a sound font because you can download the sound font for free. And as I say, uh, S for Zando, this sound font player is also free. Free. So let's have a listen to number two, Piano in 162.
So before we go to my number one pick, I just want to make an honorable mention for the one that you can see on the screen right now. This is the Soft Piano from Spitfire Audio Labs. Now it's got a very specific sound, as its name suggests, it's very, very soft. And that's why I didn't include it because it's, it's a limited use case, but you may hear it and think this is exactly what I've been looking for. Now, another thing I want to mention is that in order to use this, you have to kind of download their player, which you can see here, but that does give you the opportunity to download a whole heap of really interesting, fairly niche uh, audio libraries. They're really worth checking out. There's some great drums in there, some other pianos in there as well. Now, also, when you listen to um, the example of this, for the very first uh, demo, I'm actually going to push this reverb control um, all the way up here because I haven't done it with the others, but I think this is such a great quality reverb that I want you to hear it. And then I'll push it down to the bottom for the last couple of examples. So let's go ahead and have a listen. One. So in at number one is the Monastery Grand from Melda Production. Now, if I had made this video even two or three days ago, this piano wouldn't have been in there. I only actually heard about it yesterday. I downloaded it. I had a play with it. And it was my favorite right away. Really, really like the effort that they've put in here. Now you do need to download a free player again, this time from Melda Production, and it's called the M Sound Factory. Once you download that, it will be with an installer, which has a whole bunch of other plugins as well, which you can opt in or out of. Once you download that, um, then you can use this piano within that free player. Um, I think it sounds absolutely beautiful. It looks beautiful as well. Um, and there's a few controls here. I think they speak for themselves. Um, nice to see three mics in there. I'm a big fan of mics because I am one. And uh, you get that sort of nice granular control then over the sound of it via the mix of those microphones, some tone controls there and all the other good stuff that you can see there. Really, this speaks for itself when you play it. But I must say, um, with the actual... M Sound Factory, you can actually even change the sound even more using the controls within that. So let's have a listen to my number one pick. Check it out in the description below, and it's called the Monastery Grand. So what do you think? Do you agree with the order I've put these plugins in? Are there some other plugins which you know about which are not on this list and you'd like to see there? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear all about that. Now, if after I've released this video and the weeks and months go by, you find that some of the links are dead or some of these are no longer available for free, then get angry. Let me know in the comments down below that you're very, very angry with me. I'll be sure to read your comment and delete it immediately. Now if you did like this video make sure you hit the like button. That lets YouTube know that this video should be shared with other people. If you didn't like this video at all hit the dislike button twice and if you do like this kind of content make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. Now if you've already watched some of my other videos and you're interested in the gear which I use in my studio make sure you check out my gear guide down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll I'll see you in the next video.